the Sony PlayStation Portal. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! I want, I want, just oh. want to, I just want to go through it real quick. It has no Bluetooth, no local play, no PS5 cloud streaming, tar- targeting same battery life as DualSense controllers. What? I mean, seriously, and not only that, the price two hundred dollars. Dude. Wait, there's no Bluetooth, there's so you no can't Bluetooth. even use it with those new headsets they announced. No nope. Bluetooth. Oh no, my no, God. no, you gotta use it. There, there is gonna be a specific headset so, yeah. that you gotta buy from them that you can use it with. So basically, oh so, so oh, may, yeah. maybe maybe it is the new ones. Sony says portal will be available. It's it's gonna be 1080 p 60 which is cool. Right, no problem with that. But either way, though. PlayStation Portal will connect remotely to your PS5 over Wi-Fi. So basically, they still have not said if you can actually take it outside or, or anything. They still have not confirmed that. Because uh, it's, it's remote play only. Remote play only? Oh, Lord. But the question is, can you take it outside? I assume maybe you can, but you have to keep your PS5 like on. PS5, like in, um, what's it called? And you have to have Wi Fi. You have to be connected to a Wi Fi network at the same time. So yes, like you're not going to be able to use on the bus. Oh my God. Or yeah. Whatever. So, so here's the thing, though. Do you guys think it's a waste of money to release that? Or the, 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 why don't they just work on their own portable thing and link it all up together? You know, make a good portable um, handheld, you know, for, for players to enjoy, not this mess. I mean, for me, this is a mess. I'll say this real quick. I, I think that personally, you know, they they have a different strategy. And at the same time, you know, they do make money off of hardware. And I think this is just this is just a way for them to, to test the waters. Um, I do see that a lot. Some people, you know, will find this usable because let's face it. Not everyone plays video game like when they're on the go like on the bus and stuff like that you usually when you play your handheld you usually are connected to a wi-fi connection so it it does make sense in a way i wouldn't personally i wouldn't give two hundred dollars for a device like that but there's going to be people that are going to give that money because they don't care about you know they don't care if it's it's if it's you know, via the internet, if it's cloud, it's whatever. They don't. They just no. want to play. No, he, here's the thing, though, because they're, they're saying I'm having a stroke now. No, I'm not. I'm not having a stroke, silent or dark. I'm, he says you can remote play on a different network and you can use it. The thing is that it, it's this. This whole thing is weird because they were saying that you got to connect it to the same Wi-Fi as your PlayStation is connected to. So if I connect to a different Wi-Fi, would wait? Would where I, where it says that? I I read it. I'm telling. I'm telling you, like I read it, like a like a while ago. That's what they mentioned. Crazy. We 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 showed you that. That was fake news. Oh, that was fake news. Oh, okay. (laughs) Because I basically that's no. That was at the beginning, and then Plume even said that it's a little bit confusing because they still have not confirmed it. But yeah, we don't know. We don't. Yeah, the marketing on it isn't clear at all. Isn't clear at all with that thing. So that's what I'm saying. It's it's a weird thing. But I I hope you can though, because if you're gonna buy this two hundred dollar device. And it has the same battery life as the DualSense, which is going to be like six or seven hours, pretty much, or five hours. It depends. Because right now, with that DualSense, you've got an LCD screen pulling energy on there. So if it has the same battery as the DualSense, I don't know if it's going to last those five or six hours. That's another thing. I think it's yeah, at at two ninety nine, I feel like there is there. It's the price point where they just snuck in, where people will buy this. I don't know how many, but people will. But it also like it seems like it's a relatively cheap device. Like, I don't know how much that thing costs to produce. I don't know what the, like the, how the screen is just like literally a dual sense cut in half, essentially with the screen in between. This could potentially just be their test, kind of see if there's a market out there where, because we know PlayStation is trying to expand out more right. into cloud gaming, right? So maybe it's, the beginning before they release their pure cloud streaming device where you're going to be able to play like PS5 games and all the PlayStation Plus premium stuff on there. I feel like that's kind of what's going on here, but who knows? We'll see. Oh, here, Talo says, I'm worried about the screen breaking if I drop it. I will be worried too. It's 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 weird. It's it's like how Dark said it. It's like how many people are saying it. This looks like a, a Wii U a type of controller. Yeah. It's weird. Essentially. It's well, weird. It- if it has the the, the SSD, it it probably worth the the money. Oh, if it oh that's a, that's yeah, a good thing. You didn't think about that. Did yeah. not think about that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it does though, because damn man, I'm telling you, but no crazy. Bluetooth. Give us a poll of the week. 
All right, let me give you the poll of the week. And then I'll stop <laughs> complaining about the damn Q thing. Jesus Christ. I don't know how people are going to spend their